God recommended Job. Say, did you hear what I just, God said, Job, why? Because it is an indication that God trusted Job to manage that season properly. And he says, what I'm going to do on the back end of this season, it's going to be so amazing, it's going to make up for what you lost in the middle of this season. While I'm going through this, he trusts you. Why is my heart broken? He trusts you. Why is this happening to me? He trusts you because he knows the average person would stay in that tomb. But he knows the buoyancy on the inside of you says, I have not survived everything I survived to succumb to this. Let me see if I got any old school church goers here. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy, but I don't believe. He's brought me this far. Your unusual recovery, I can say, I believe God's gonna give you one with confidence. I, I can say that with confidence because I saw something in the text, Marlon. I, I saw that your unusual recovery isn't for you, it's for Thomas. that there are some Thomases in your life that are gonna have to bounce back from some of the same things you bounce back from. And God wants to use your life as evidence and as an example that bouncing back from these things are possible. Now you told God to use you. Let me go to this side, come on. You asked God to use you. You said, if you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. And when we ask God to use us, what we're really asking God to do is use my gifts. But God says, sometimes I'm not going to use your gifts. Sometimes I'm going to use your life. Sometimes I'm going to let you go in a grave and stay there three days. And I'm going to raise you back up so that everybody that saw you go in has to watch you come out as evidence of what I can do. I got to go. Y'all tired. Here it is. God can't trust everybody with tombs. The highest form of trust is when he can trust you with trouble. So I trust you to go in there and not stay. I trust that there's some, y'all not talking to me. I can back. This is, this is theolog like this is the theological premise and foundation for the book of Job. God recommended Job. Say, did you hear what I just, God said, Job, why? Because it is an indication that God trusted Job to manage that season properly. And he says, what I'm going to do on the back end of this season, it's going to be so amazing, it's going to make up for what you lost in the middle of this season. While I'm going through this, he trusts you. Why is my heart broken? He trusts you. Why is this happening to me? He trusts you because he knows the average person would stay in that tomb. But he knows the buoyancy on the inside of you says, I have not survived everything I survived to succumb to this. Let me see if I got any old school church goers here. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy, but I don't believe. He's brought me this far to leave me. So I trust you. Because I need people that I can use as an example, not just of what's possible with your gifts. I need people that's an example of what's possible with your life. bounce back and that's what Jesus did he, 
He bounced. He didn't just reveal to us that we could bounce back. He revealed, I'm done, Tara. He revealed what we can bounce back from. Because if you're going to try to optimize, you have to understand what I'm teaching you today. And that is buoyancy is a non-negotiable. It's a life skill that you must have if you're going to optimize. You will have setbacks. And if you do not develop this life skill, you will make a state out of what God intended to be a stage. You will settle for the wilderness when you've been created for Canaan. Because you didn't recover. So you think everything's going to be on the up and up in business. You think you're never having a setback? You think everything's going to be up and up in the marriage? You think everything's going to be up and up in parenting? You think everything's going to be up and up in your career? It's not a rocket ship. It's a roller coaster. But can you recover? Can you reframe rejection and say, this is not rejection, this direction? This is a life skill. And I'm speaking to somebody right now who feel like you're in a tomb. You feel like a dream is dying, a vision is dying, because you've had a setback. Not realizing that East is a revelation that setbacks are set ups for come ups. If you'll develop buoyancy, you're gonna have to bounce back. If Jesus said you, you're gonna have to bounce back. To, you're gonna have to bounce back from betrayal. That's what Jesus had to bounce back from. Betrayal is uniquely painful because betrayal is illogical. Jesus was a perfect man, so he always did what was perfect, said what was perfect, felt what was perfect, and he still dealt with a Judas. Wow. Because your character don't change Judas' character. But Jesus looked at a man that was going to betray him and said, whatever you're going to do, do it quickly. In other words, I'm so convinced that God got me. I'm not even going to try to talk you out of what you're going to do. Your betrayal don't block my blessing. Say what you want. You think you can ruin my reputation. But if God's got something for me, you can only ruin my reputation in the minds of people who don't matter. Did you hear what I just said? Some of you are worried about what people think of you that don't matter for your destiny. God does not give you favor with everybody you want it with. God gives you favor with everybody you need it with. And so if you don't have favor with them, God's not going to use them to do what he wants to do in your life. So you got to bounce back. Because God will never have your destiny in the hands of a Judas. God said, you think, you think they got much, that much power to ruin you? But you know who I am? You got to recover from betrayal. Because if not, you'll be so bitter with Judas that you won't minister to the thief when you're hanging on a cross. The pain you experienced in your past ain't about your past, it's about your future. He wants to use Judas to make you jaded. You gotta recover. You gotta recover from betrayal, you gotta recover from beatings. Jesus got beat. And life's gonna throw some blows at you. It's gonna be some blows you don't see coming. 
Some of you, you're going to find something on the phone you didn't see coming. You, you're going to get a phone call you didn't see coming. You're going to get a diagnosis you didn't see coming. It's a blow. But I was watching a movie a long time ago. Y'all too young for this movie. It's called Necessary Roughness. And it was about this football team. And this guy got hit. And the coach walked over to him. He said, are you hurt or are you injured? He says, what's the difference? He says, if you hurt, you can still play. God says, you hurt, but because I'm a healer, I'm going to make sure it doesn't injure you. Does that make sense? Sometimes you're like, oh my God, I'm so hurt. It's just our ego hurt. Because God's like, this has no bearing on what I'm going to do in your life. And I'm done. Here's number three. Y'all ready for it? You got to bounce back from burials. You ever felt like you or something was being buried? I know some of you winning all the time, but you ever been in a season where you feel like, I ain't winning right now. And the people came to the tomb, Marlon, looking for Jesus in the last place they saw him. And the angel said, why are you looking for the living among the dead? I, this is the first miracle that we can celebrate being a miracle because Jesus wasn't there. Wow. Wow. Every other time there was a miracle, it was because he was there. This time it was a miracle because he wasn't there. And sometimes the miracle in your life is you are not where other people are who've been through what you've been through. Why seek ye the living among the dead? I'm not there anymore. God said, I want to change your condition. I want to raise you up out of everything that's burying you. And I'm done. Here's, here's recovery, though. In the Bible, when God recovers or restores, he never gives you back what you lost. The Bible doesn't define terms. It describes terms using biblical characters. So when Joseph experienced recovery, he didn't get back what he lost. When Job experienced recovery, he didn't get back what he lost. When Jesus experienced recovery, he didn't get back what he lost. Because recovery is not God giving you back what you lost. It's God giving you back more. Job got double. And he's going to do it for you. But here's my prayer for you. Can I pray this over you? I said, can I pray this over you? Here's my prayer for you. My prayer for you is you have the buoyancy to endure Saturday seasons. Sunday's coming, but you got to survive your Saturday seasons. That God gives you sometimes your strategy. What's my strategy? Sometimes your strategy is simply not to quit. I wouldn't be in this room today and you wouldn't either, with me at least, if I quit. Sometimes the strategy is just not to quit. I want to pray that God helps you with that. If you need that prayer, say yes.